Alrighty, how's it going? It's your man here, Gatorade5, and I am back for another installment of my Let's Play Pokemon Omicron. And today, guys, I'm pretty sure some story is going to go down, so you don't want to miss this, you guys. Make sure you uh, watch the whole episode because it's going to be very entertaining to see how many characters there actually are in the story that you may know. So that's that um today as i said we're gonna be doing that maybe we'll get back to uh what's his face fianga city i believe and we can uh continue on in the story i did not uh beat all fishermen um just because uh i don't know so here's the problem <laughs> It just so happens that the weekend that I need to train or do stuff in both games is also the weekend that I have finals. So, um, I do apologize for not doing that. I know I should have done it, but, uh, I mean, I really do need, uh, some of these classes. Um, I mean, I'm doing pretty good, um, but there's one class in particular that I really do need to study and uh, I don't really like that class all too much, but I'm gonna have to do it. So I've been uh, working hard. So uh, other than that, I think we're good. I need to actually take a look at my own team. So let's go ahead and do a party review together because we both, eh, both of the whatever. Anyways, we have Mrs. Hoot here, level 19, um, with keen eye. Uh, reflect uproar peck and hypnosis next we have honey who we newly changed into an adamant heracross my god this thing is amazing it's got guts so if we can get the burn orb on it we will be uh in good business business it's got counter brick break aerial ace and chip away still looking for that stab bug type move maybe like bug bite or something like that that will definitely be uh, my number one priority to get uh, within the next few episodes. Next, we have Tommy, our Rotom, with a brave nature, which isn't too good for a Rotom, to be honest. Um, it's got Confuse Ray, Thundershock, Uproar, and Flash. And finally, we have Julio, our Cedra, our starter, with brave nature. Not too good. It's got Pound, Focus Energy, Bubble Beam, and Water Gun. And finally, we have the egg. It doesn't even let me do it in the party review. Really? Summary. Uh, it may be close to hatching. Well, that's that. Um, well, first of all, I think we do need to move a new mon up first, like Julio. I don't think we've used it in the past couple of episodes. So let's go ahead and do that, and uh, without wasting any more of your guys' time, let's go ahead, and I will need to set up a repel. Ooh, that's a deerling, though. To be honest, we are going to get a grass type soon enough, though, so I will not be needing any type of grass type. Um, any type of grass type. A grass type, period. Um, let's go ahead, though, uh, see, do we have a repel? Yes, we have eight of them. I'm going to use one of them right now. Because, uh, look at this. Oh, wow, you see me? Whatever. Uh, I wish I could speed this up, as I said. I'm literally mashing the A button right now. We have a Tower Rogue, though. Only level nine. That's it, pretty much. This thing will probably get one shot by Bubble Beam. As it is actually going to go for the fake out, though. Uh, get a little bit of damage off, but Bubble Beam... I mean, come on now. What what can you expect from a level 9 Tyrogue? <sighs> people, people, people. Uh, I do want to pick these berries, though, because... Freaking berries. Who doesn't want berries? I, I honestly don't know what to talk about other than finals and Thanksgiving break. Um, Thanksgiving break, um... I do want to do quite a bit of pistachios, uh, hut stuff, my friends, as, here's the problem, all the other members of pistachio, except myself, go to the same school, I go to a different school, um, so that's, that's the main problem we have right now, 
Um, they get the whole Thanksgiving week off. I have finals, uh, cause I'm in trimesters and they're in semesters. So that that's the one problem. But other than that, we should be pretty much fine. It's gonna go for Thunder Shock. Hopefully, oh my goodness. I was gonna say, if we don't break through, I'm gonna be super mad, but, uh, I, I only have half di days on Monday and Tuesday, I have the last three days off, plus the weekend, so we're gonna, so I'm gonna go ahead and try to, um, get some stuff done, me and Final 90, uh, or Commentator 15, I don't know which one it's gonna be, but, I think Final 90 came up with the idea, but Commentator 15 wants to do it himself, and it doesn't want Final 90 to do it. I don't know, it's a bit of a predicament right now for them, uh, but we'll figure out which one, um, RP Gaming wa wants to do it, um, we're just gonna try to get Behemoth, uh, to go in on it, and if we can, it's gonna be probably the funnest four up, uh, as you guys know, Final 90 and I, uh, discussed it on part two of this series, so if you guys do, if you guys are interested, oh my goodness. Honey is... <laughs> I was gonna say dead, but... This is not a Nuzlocke. Um, but... Yeah, it's gonna be really interesting. It's actually gonna be a race to see who can finish first. And it's gonna be very entertaining. Um, if you guys don't know what it's gonna be, it's... It's gonna be... Uh, Sacred Gold Storm Silver. I'm gonna just say that, and if you guys know what that game is... Well, you guys will know, it will be exciting. It will be one exciting um, thing as this Porygon hasn't attacked me once. That's interesting. Um, but right now, I'm okay with letting Honey faint because honestly, it was already level 19. And uh, Did you guys see that glitch though? Oh, crap, we have to battle Ranger. Oh my goodness. You're up. What are we talking about? <laughs> okay. Um. Yeah, other than that, Thanksgiving break. Daily ups, uploads, except maybe the, um, on, except maybe on Thanksgiving. I'm going to be really busy on Thanksgiving, guys. We're whole, um, my family's hosting, and, uh, I'm also doing a service project in the morning. Uh, so I'm not going to probably be able to, um, upload a video for you guys on that day. I hope you're okay with that. You guys should be spending your um Thanksgiving with your loved ones anyway. If not, um I hope you have a good reason not to. <laughs> um other than that though, um daily uploads. Um I might try to do twice daily uploads on the days that there is no wild game. And <coughs> and try to do one sweet episode and one um, what's, what's space, um, one, one Omicron, I'm playing Omicron Caterade 5, what is wrong with me right now, honestly, um, I do notice though we have quite a bit of weakness to electric types, that's why Hoot Hoot is not on the final team, so I hope you guys know that. Now we're gonna go ahead uproar. Doing a decent amount though. To be quite honest, Electro Ball though hopefully doesn't do too much as it is quite faster than us because we are paralyzed. That's not too good. Hopefully though we can go ahead and break through paralysis. This game, man, if we, it could go any freaking slower, I would like kill myself. Come on now. It should not be going this slow. I mean, like, I know new Pokemon games and all that. We want to experiment and do stuff with that. Yeah, I'm fine with that. What I'm not a fan of... Not a fan... Um... Is... These games that... Wish... I wish they had some new ones. And some of the newer ones do. This is... An older one for... This software, even though it came out, like, last year. This software's really only been up one year and this was the first big game that really came out um of this and since then there have been so many great new games that have come out of that um as this Burmy is eating up all my hits I don't know why bug please don't kill me oh, I'm just gonna say jeez go ahead and uh, take you down with Peck hopefully that was the last trainer Mr. Almost 
10 minutes through the episode, we've just been facing trainers left and right. I really... Oh god, yeah, this is, this is, this is definitely the place. If you guys don't know, look at there's a huge confrontation. Is that the word to use? I don't know if we have to battle anyone. If we do, we're kind of... Just kind of, you know, not really in luck. <coughs> Mrs. Hood and Julio are kind of the only healthy mods we have. We have a paralyzed Rotom, which won't be doing us too good, as I can kind of tell right here. I'm going to go ahead and switch uh, Mrs. Hoot up front with Julio in case we do have to have a double battle. Here we go. All right, so I need to do like about 10, no, four different voices. Zeus, this has gone long enough. I know why Team Olympus has taken over the Poké Hydron Collider, and let me tell you, you will never succeed. You don't have the time caller. There will be no danger as long as we can keep you from finding it. Is that so? I know someone who might disagree with you. Isn't that right? Sea Raid? Dun, dun, dun. Uh, why did my. Oh, that's. Sea Raid, did you hear what he just said? He's bluffing, right? If they truly have the time caller, then the world as we know could be doomed. Are they telling the truth? Please, Sea Raid, they can't be. I mean. Real world situations. What should we do? I feel like I'm on a TV show. Like, should I say yes or no? Because if I say yes, then everybody will know and they'll get worried. If I say no, then then everybody won't be worried. But uh, I gotta say yes. No, no, no! It can't be. Believe it, Arya. What a shame! You never toys to join us all those years ago. You could have had a taste of this. Wahaha! <laughs> Feast your eyes on that almighty shaman, the legendary Pokemon. It, it can't be. Oh, this is N. No, I will not stand to see another brave Pokemon enslaved. And I will fight against the corruption of strong Pokemon as well. Wahaha! <laughs> you won't... I won't fight you to die, Simon. Clear us up, Hoth. We've done everything. We've, we're done evacuating Nyasa Town. Let's go to the Poké Hydron Collider. Wahaha, see you later. Oh, God. It, this is not good. They found out one of the most powerful artifacts known to mankind, and they already used it to summon a rare and powerful Pokémon. We can still beat them, right? I don't know. I honestly don't know. Sea Raid, have you ever met the legend researcher? He lives in Superior Town, and he researches the legendary Pokemon. I need you to go see him. He has a book explaining the origins of the universe. Sea Raid, you need to know how big of a threat this is. That book explains everything. We'll wait for your return. Do we really have to walk all the way? Oh, wait, what? what? Uh, oh, okay. We made the long trek back to Superior Town. <laughs> we made the long trek back to Superior Town. Repel's effect wore off. No, I don't want to use another repel. What do you have to say for yourself? Oh, hey there. Sorry about the mess. I haven't been the mission. I think it may be a statue of a legendary Pokemon. Um, I need to check the book on the table anyways. Oh, they they make me go around just to make sure I'm not. Yeah, <laughs> it's the book that the professor was talking about. Read what it says. Yes, in an ancient vault, there was nothing. Then there was an egg, a golden egg, a powerful egg. Inside this egg, there was a beast known as Arceus. Arceus, the original Pokemon. Arceus created the world as we know it, time, space, and antimatter and created an awe-inspiring beast to guard them. Arceus created life to inhabit the world, and then sealed himself away in his own dimension. Before he did this, however, he created a Pokemon too. The book is too burnt to keep reading. 
Oh, Sea Raid. Sorry about the mess. Oh, the professor sent you here? That must mean Team Olympus found the time collar, right? This is not good. We need to talk. How do I put this? Remember the unknown you saw in the cave? It was pretty powerful, right? Uh, not too much. Imagine that kind of power times a couple billion, then you have the power of a legendary Pokemon. See, the time color allows its user to splice the fabric of time to bring something from the past to the present. Effectively, it calls that Pokemon. It calls a Pokemon from another time. If Team Olympus had that, they would. They then they could catch every legendary Pokemon ever. And if they, if they, remember how I told you to go visit Wilson in Fianga City? Wilson is one of the lead scientists at the Pokehadron Collider. It's just they can summon a really powerful Pokemon at the Poke Pokehadron Collider if they use the Time Collar. You read the mist of Arceus, right? Well, it says that Arceus created the universe and then fell into a deep sleep. But last year, I asked myself, if Arceus created the world, who maintains it? Suddenly, everything began to click into place. The strange writings nobody could understand. Those weird hieroglyphs. From what I can gather, Arceus created a Pokemon with power to match its own, to watch over the universe in its absence. The scriptures say that this Pokemon can travel to... Th through time, bend dimensions, and more. Maybe I'm exaggerating, but can you imagine if such a Pokemon fell into Team Olympus's hands? You better go. You f go find the professor and tell him what I told you. Can we, like... Oh, yes, we made the long trek back to Route 07, and we ran into a Pokemon. Anticlimactic zone. Because, yeah... Yeah, I, I really don't know what to say anymore. Uh, why did I attack this thing? Watch it kill me. No? Alright. I must have hit the wrong button. I apologize. Heh, <laughs> got away safely. Alright. The legend researcher called us and told us what he told you. It's very worrying, isn't it? Your mother went off to Blackfish City over in the crop circle. The giant... That giant circular island in the center of the region. Team Olympus has quarantined Nyasa Town. There's only a few stragglers left and... Dun, dun, dun. You know what? Warning, my family. This is dialogue. Please do not yell at me. Holy shit, what was that? Oh my god, that's why they quarantined off Nyasa Town. Now, I sit down. Oh, oh my god, they've destroyed it. I have to go and see right. I'm sorry. I need rock climb, but they still look scalable. Am I Ash Ketchum? I can scale anything. I can do this. Yeah, climb it. And actually, uh, here's the thing. I believe there is a certain cave that you can get to right here that gives you a little path to the Pokey Hydron Collider. Now, where is the exit? Alright. So. No, 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 no. Shoot, 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 shoot. Alright. We are not responsible. Wait, no, no, no. I need, I need so a good voice. This guy looks like he's... Oh, this is Apollo, isn't it? We are not responsible for what happened in Nyasa Town. Team Olympus took the high road and evacuated the city because we knew your pathetic scientists would mess up. At least, at least the time color worked. Devavis, the traveler, has been called from ancient times. Devavis of his power, we can move anything through time. Anyone, any object, I could snap my fingers. Anyone be a wailing baby. I at my feet. Team Olympus would be invincible. Now we only have to catch it. God, I'm getting dizzy from doing that. <laughs> I did not mean to go through that door. I was actually going to end out the episode there. You'll never get away with us. Trainer, help us. You, C Raid. Wait, no. You, C Raid. Avani told me all about you. You nearly messed up our plans in Onega Town. That's it. You're going down. My mouth is literally the scratchiest thing you can... Oh my goodness. Ugh. 
Olympus Commander Apollo has a freaking Vulpix. At least we have a water type on our side that is that is confused and has half HP. If this thing is like, <coughs> it doesn't matter. We're gonna kill ourselves in confusion. I do not have. This is not good. All right, let's heal up Julio here. Um, hopefully, our freaking burn dust. At least we're not a physical attacker. <laughs> That's all I have to say. Quick attack us. Please, can we break through? Please! Thank you. Please. Uh, Julio's hurt by its burn. Let's go ahead, Bubble Beam. It's gonna go in quick attack. Can't, we didn't break out of confusion. Please! Thank you. Alright. One down, two to go. Let's do this. And, and yeah apollo has ponyta all right can we break through confusion right now watch this thing have like grass knot or something like that it's got guts doesn't it well then we're dead pretty much unless like we can double uproar everything in our path actually no hypnosis it's got wild charge I don't, I don't know what we can do here. Honestly, I will need to grind before next episode. God dang it! Um, let's go ahead and uproar. Flame charge will probably kill us. No, it does not, but its speed does rise. And we're paralyzed. We can't move. Please just, can you like crit me or something? It doesn't matter. I'm not even going to try to heal us right now. I'm not even going to try. We don't have anything left. Blacked out. Okay. Alright, that was a glitch. Uh, I did not want to go in there, as you can obviously tell. No, 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 I don't want to, I don't want to heal my mons again. Can we just go right in? Okay. We're in Fianca City. All right. So if you guys <laughs> enjoyed today's episode, make sure you mock punch that like button and subscribe if you guys have not. Make sure to <laughs> put in the comments how bad of a battler I am because I need some reminders that I actually suck at battling. So other than that, I'm going to get up out you guys. This is Kid Raid 5 signing out. Thanks for watching, everybody, and have yourself a good day.